And I think the three of us heard the beginning of this hearing, so we can probably keep going. I don't know if any of our uh, other board members will join us, but we do have a quorum. And we will uh, go ahead and open the public hearing just so we can move forward with other things you may have on your agenda for this evening. Although nothing could be more exciting than this particular thing. Um, while we have uh, the three of us here, I'd just like to make a motion to approve our minutes from last meeting and get that out of the way. Can I second. have a second on that? Thank you. All in favor? Bob Ray and I. Fenraguchi, aye. And I will approve that as well. Thank you. We are done with our administrative duties for this evening. And this evening, we just have one continuation hearing. Let's see what we have. Mr. Wood was kind enough to send us some proposed plans for his... Um, Raj, and addition <laughs> above that. Sorry, uh, looking at two things at once. Let's here. So, Kathy, I know you were good enough. You just have you are you're you're one step ahead of me. I just want to go back to. Um, the oh, you want the hearing notice? Yes, if you would just put that up for one second. Okay. Mm -hmm. It right here in front of me a moment ago. Here it is. This is a continuation of the public hearing on a petition from Robert Wood for a variance from the front setback to construct a two car garage on the property at 33 Anthony Road, North Reading, MA, Map 30, Parcel 53, owned by Robert M. Wood Jr., according to the requirements outlined in the dimensional and density regulations of the North Reading zoning bylaws. And Kathy, if you could put up the, the plan of the property, please. The, um, Do you want uh, the building the, plans or the plot? The, plan? the plot plan that shows oh, okay. the, uh, the footprint and the proposed addition. Oh, there it is. I saw that. I saw it flash by. There you go. That one. So just a reminder that we're looking at in addition to an existing dwelling, it's on Anthony Road with a future street on the easterly side, which would also count as a front yard or for, for zoning purposes. Or So we have a 40 foot setback requirement. If that was a true side yard, we wouldn't need anything from our board for the setback. But since there is a, um, a paper street between this property and the one to the, to the right of this, they would need a variance. Um, I think we looked at this all last time and had requested from the applicant some elevation showing us what this proposed addition would look like. Kathy, if you want to just scroll down to that, uh, keep going. Okay, that's what for going. All right, how about there? So that gives a good visual of what is being proposed by the applicant, a two-story addition connected to the existing one-story residence. Um, and just as a reminder, the existing one story portion of the property is already within the front yard setback going to the to Anthony Road. All right. Questions, comments from my esteemed board. Are there any um, neighbors of butter, uh, butters? Anybody submit anything in opposition? that has, has been seen by the board or? I didn't see anything in the file. Kathy, have you gotten anything from an abutter? No, I haven't. 
And there's no one on the on the call with us other than Mr. Woods. Is that correct? No. Nope. I did get the butter um, notification slips back. Okay, good. Well, it's an interesting characterization of it as being a two-car garage because it's this more, I think there's more house than garage. Not that, you know, there's anything amiss with that. What's this? Is, the, does anybody have an understanding of the paper road and what the plan is on that? Or is, is that just awaiting someone to take that rear lot for development? I don't know if Mr. Wood may know that or. I believe the lot behind us is owned by um, an estate at this point, it's, or it's in trust right now. Um, all I honestly, it's all rumors that I've heard from our neighbors <clears throat> that the individual who is like, it's probably about six houses up here on Anthony. Um, there's a there's a vacant lot now. The house was there that was knocked down and that was the potential like through way to some potential building behind us. But again, I, it's, it's honestly just, it's rumors um, that I've heard from, from neighbors. So I can't, I can't speak 100% to it. But I believe oh, okay. that that land is all in the same trust. Okay. Um, so looking at the, the assessor's map, let's see. It looks like there's a very large lot behind it that may run the whole length of the half dozen or so houses that are shown on the assessor's map. Let's see and that would kind of fall in line with the house that I know they say is connected to. So it's about six houses up. Yeah, so that could be become a, a driveway or a private way connecting into that back parcel. A piece of land in North Reading yet to be developed. Seems like amazing. <laughs> it sounds like it will happen at some point. Uh, well, I think that it, it also, was, I think it, it also butts up again. Go ahead, Kathy. There's some question uh, on the ownership because the husband died. So it's unclear whether his wife or his father is the owner. I think that's why it's been taken so long. Um, once they, yeah, I would expect once they figure that out and someone realizes there's a chunk of developable land, if it is in fact developable, uh, you may see a driveway or private way going through there. So we do need to treat it as a potential road. And that's why it has the 40 foot setback rather than the 25 for a sideline. Um, and the applicant is looking for, I think it's five feet exactly off for their plan. Like four, seven, but five feet. Yeah. I mean, it's five feet off the, Future Street and just shy of five feet um, off the off Anthony Road. The characterization of it as a future street, but it isn't owned by the town. So it's a yeah. paper road that's still not in any way a road, yet a road. It's right. just in, just Okay. Yeah, it's so it's on plans as a, you know, as, as far as I can tell from what's been submitted to us, it's on plans as a future street. Um, has not been developed. It's at this point, I'd expect probably both of the abutters are using it like lawn, but it is. Um, it's all trees. It's all. Tre it's all trees. It's 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 woods. And, and is that considered my lot as well? Half of that considered part of my lot? 
Um, most likely not. It dep- you'd have to look at the title to who owns that. If it were a pub, um, yeah. but you'd have to look at the title to who owns who owns that street. Look at your deed. See if you were given any interest or rights into that when it was conveyed. But I would guess not. No. Again, without without, <laughs> without looking at the title, really, there's no sure. way to go. Um, but if, if someone has rights into it as a street, then they would have the right at some future point to clear the trees and pave it and use it as such. It's 50, foot, 50 feet wide, so it's more than wide enough to accommodate a, a street under the town bylaws. So I I, um, I I take your point, Bob. I think the um, the the scope of the addition is more than we may have anticipated based on the application. Um, be that as it may, because it looks like a two car garage with um, full living space above. Two bedrooms looks like two, the bath. Two two bedrooms and a bathroom. Okay kind of a common space that's just really kind of extra space for, for the kids. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I would say <laughs> the existing dwelling is closer to the westerly lot line and then the proposed addition will be to the easterly lot line. It, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a narrow, these are, these are, some of these older lots are small given the setback requirements. Does it go, I mean, if you look, I guess, if you, if you put something 25 feet from the westerly lot line, you'd have to slide the house in another five feet and then you couldn't go more than 40 feet off the future street or Anthony Road. It definitely, limits the building um, footprint. Looks like septics in the back. Oh, and it does show um, the, the engineer who did this plan if you look at the dashed lines called building setback on the back half of the property, that shows you the, the sideline rear setback. It doesn't go all the way through to show you the front setback as well. But it would be, oh, maybe it does. If you go right into the proposed addition there, I see it now, yep. that little corner. So that's that's the legal building envelope and the proposed addition falls i would say the majority within that but we've got we've got some couple feet going in to the east and to the south which are subject of our review In the in planning commission's memorandum to us regarding this November 8, 2021, they did raise the issue of looking for elevation in particular, and maybe more particularly grading plan for proximity to the septic. Um, and I know they, my assumption is they haven't seen these revised plans. What was the, I, I don't think so. What was the date of their? November 8th, so. Okay, we had that at our last hearing. Um, no, I don't, well, unless Kathy, unless you shared that with CPC. I, I did send them the house plans. I did send them all that. And um, they had this plan at the last meeting too. Okay. 
Uh, but nothing further from them? No. Okay. And in that same memorandum, issue two with a question mark, conveniently, hardship, asking mm -hmm. uh, maybe they had the idea of just the scope of the project. But it, again, th there's nothing more than just that November 8th okay. letter of correspondence within the file. So when they question hardship for purposes of very um, allowing the variance, I think uh, whether that, I don't, I wonder if they wanted to know more about, again, grading, um, elevation, et cetera, or was it just something to throw our way for purposes of why people seek or need variance? I'm gonna, just take that as a, they're flagging an issue for our consideration. The issue of hardship is one for our, our review and determination as a board. I would say given the, given the lot, size and the the setbacks and I really it may you know more particularly that it's a um yeah you know, they have a, a a straight they have two front setbacks to comply with so it's whether we think a five foot variance off the off the future street is appropriate and then I would say the, I mean, there's already, they require it off Anthony Road as well, but we're already, we have an existing dwelling that's already in that space. So it, although it's a, it's a expansion of an existing non-conforming. Right, so it has no real bearing, bearing on the proposed addition because it is not complying. I, and again, I don't, I haven't, don't have the whole history of this, whether there was a, a variance granted for the original construction or if that's a pre-existing non-conforming. But again, it's not, it won't weigh on our determination that we can look at this proposed addition mm -hmm. um, on its own merits. So, Vincent, any thoughts on this? No, I mean, I, I it's pretty straightforward what he's looking for. Mm -hmm. And kind of with Bob on, you know, it's not, it's a grass with trees. Um, I get it, it's a street, but I don't see the, the real issue that would be there for a five foot variance. And yeah, I agree. I mean, I think in terms of the siting on the lot, we have something that's fairly well centered or within the lot. It's mm -hmm. not looking at something that's five feet from the lot line, but we're 35 feet. Um, it has as, as much buffer on that side, actually more than we have on the other side of the existing dwelling. So I'm, I'm comfortable with this. I think it's important that we get elevations because to Bob's point, it's definitely, it's a bigger project than was you may have assumed just from the application. Um, but even, uh, even with that or in hand, I, I don't have an issue with <laughs> addition. It's I mean, clearly, it's good to see exactly what's going in. That's why we require these. Um, it is a significant expansion of existing space, but I don't think we're, 
we're, I think we're still preserving a significant setback from the Anthony Road and Future Street sidelines. Uh, two, two points, just two final thoughts for me. I took a ride down Anthony today. I mean, it's a fairly, it's not a very densely compacted neighborhood. So as Jennifer, as Chair point, points out for purposes of placement of the addition, centering it on the property, I don't think it's gonna make a substantial difference in the types of homes that are already existing on Anthony. So that consistency um, is in the favor of the uh, applicant. Um, the other thing that just might be a concern for him is, you know, with that immediate ab abutting path, which is termed a future street, and this I don't doesn't any bearing on how I'm I see the request for the variance is for his own consideration. Um, it may not hurt his interest to try to find out if he can find out more about that property, uh, the true owner and, and any activity on it, if only because he might be, there might be something that he's not even aware of. I, I don't think it has any, it's not gonna ch change my position that I'm in favor of the variance. Um, but again, just for his own consideration, just it seems like he's putting something up on a adjacent to a property that nobody seems to have talked to anybody directly at, to the owner of that because uh, it doesn't seem like anybody knows who has it unless I'm I'm misunderstood the conversation earlier. Kathy, the, yeah. um, a notice had to go to the owner of record for that property. Is that correct? Um, yes, I, yes. As an the, property, the property back there um, mm -hmm. before planning at one time, and I think it was, oh, I don't know if it was 11 or more homes that were planned to go mm -hmm. back there, and they would actually be coming off of Andover. Is that a butts Andover? Mm, okay. But they were planning on going into, um, through Andover, Anthony Road. But then the, um, I don't think the planning board approved it at that time. Well, that will be very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think it, it, I mean, it has the potential for development that is designated a future street. We will let the landowners of those parcels figure out how to develop that when they see fit. And if they're in front of us, we will have a chance to look at that. All right, I, th I think we've chatted through this. Um, any, any other questions or guys okay closing the hearing? Second. Yep. All right, thank you. Um, would one of you care to make a motion on this requested variance? I'll make a motion on the petition of Robert Wood for a variance from the front setback to construct a two car garage, which could also be characterized as a proposed addition to the existing property at 33 Anthony Road, North Reading, map 30, parcel 53, owned by same Robert Wood. Um, uh, motion for uh, I move to uh, allow the um, the variance request. And I'd like to amend that motion, if I may, to specify that it would be six feet off the the easterly road and six feet off the off Anthony Road in accordance with the plans submitted by the applicant. Noted. Second. Can I, can I just ask you a question? Yes, Are please. We giving, so we're giving a variance for the um, south and easterly or just the easterly? 
for both because it's it needs a variance for both. Okay. It's within the setback. And this is just on the addition. We're not talking about the existing structure. Okay. Right. The proposed addition, it needs um, six feet from both the, well, five, if you want to give them a little room at six, but um, six feet from Future Street and Anthony Road. Okay. So with that combo motion, uh, Vincent, would you like to second that? I will. Thank you. And then all in favor, Mr. Ragucci. Vincent Ragucci, aye. Mr. Breen. Bob Breen, aye. Right. Jennifer Platt, aye. aye. All right. So, Mr. Wood, congratulations. Your variance has been approved in accordance with the plan. There is a 20 day appeal period after which it will be stamped by the town clerk. And Kathy will tell you how you get that for recording purposes. Well, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Hope you feel better. <laughs> thank you. And your family. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, the, the, kid, the kids bounce back pretty quick. My wife and I are, it's lingering a little bit. Uh, so. I, I don't like to hear that. I don't like to hear that, Ellen. It just seems like it's you're gonna get it sooner or later. I'm getting nervous. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, well, feel better. Thank you for submitting the plans. Those were very helpful for our review. Oh, thank you. Sorry, I didn't have them before. I didn't know exactly what was going to be needed. So, um, I appreciate your your time and your your thoughts on the process. Absolutely. All right. All right. Frank, we didn't know you were there. Oh, you snuck in on us. I was, I was in the waiting room for a little bit, but that's. Man, I would have had you do this. I didn't need to be. No, here. I got to be honest. You know, I, 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 uh, I enjoy just listening to you guys about this stuff. Uh, you know, this is definitely your. Oh man, your ah, next piece, so. Kathy, you gotta tell me next time. Oh. <laughs> you can't. Next time, it's you, bud. And what you know, thinking? my my uh, my votes have only been on chicken coops, so that's good. I'll just keep it going. No, we, yeah. you're ready. You're ready, Rand. You're trying to step up. You get <laughs> you can have the next garage. It's all yours. I want you to run with it. Um, Kathy, when is the next time? I think I saw an invite on my calendar. Um, February 10th. We have the continued here at 3:40. And we have a variance for another garage. So there you go, Frank. <laughs> um, on 46 Abbott Road, very skinny lot. Oh, no, it's an addition. I think it's an addition. All right. Well, and, and tell me, let's see, I'm just pulling my calendar. So February 10th. February 10th. Lovely. And when's school vacation week for those who have? Kids in the system. Twenty first. Twenty first. We could Monday start um, Monday the twenty first to the twenty fifth. All right. Lovely. That's all I got, guys. So we have um, one addition and one continuance of our. That's our Kathy. You said that was the Main Street property. Yeah. They're coming back to give us an update. Lovely. There. Looks like they're making progress. Last yeah. time I drove by, I'm, I'm pleased to see it. I'll tell, uh, tell Jerry to get out there, keep, keep cleaning <laughs> these up. Keep them on their feet. Yep, that's good. All right, guys, what else you got for me? Because we're, we're, I'm closing the public hearing because I think we're done with that part. This yes. is so we're, we're, uh, Anything else? Anyone got good news? Anyone going anywhere? Doing anything? I'm going to St. Martin. Damn it. <laughs> In a couple of weeks. Are you really? Yeah. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> I hope I can get back in the country. But <laughs> That'd be good. And you've already had COVID, so hopefully you yeah. should, be, should be clear. Yeah. Wow. I'm jealous. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> best, be best beaches in the world. Yeah, I've been there once, but my husband hasn't been there. 
Yeah, hopefully it will be a good time. That is fantastic. Do you get a, is there, can you get a direct flight there or do you have to bounce through Miami? I have a stop, I think, in Philadelphia. I didn't make the plans. So. <laughs> wow, really? This is impressive. Your husband made the plans? No, we're going with friends. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. Right. Take that back. Take it back. Yeah. My son just got back from Budapest last night. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, which apparently was beautiful. And unfortunately, his flight from Budapest through Amsterdam got delayed, rerouted, and a direct flight to Boston came 12 hours later <laughs> on midnight through, <laughs> through New York to Boston. So, but, and then anyway, he's been bopping around Europe for the last month. Nice. Nice. I'm nice. jealous of that as well. Mm. Time to start living, guys. So, Frank, you're taking over, and uh, I'll let you know when I'm back. <laughs> Bob, you look deep in thought. No, anything to just share curious. Um, I the first, um, just wondering the the um, the withdrawal by. Um, Dean Natality regarding Her regarding. Yeah, with that withdrawal, does it just, he's just, doesn't penalize him in any way. Is it, it's, should we know the withdrawal or was that considered? Because I don't think it was formally withdrawn except through the letter correspondent. Do we have to formally acknowledge the withdrawal of the petition since we had continued it, right? And, um, I don't recall if we had continued no, it. Was, it was just on for the first time. Yeah, I don't think, okay, so it hadn't come before us, so he doesn't, he withdrew before we've even opened that hearing. Okay. I'm okay with it. And it looked like he complied with the building commissioner's um, requirements to clean up the property and cease and desist. So again, another win for Jerry out there <laughs> doing the good work. Mm. Outstanding. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's he's being vigilant, diligent, and vigilant. Yes, it is. Good. All right. I mean, I, I love seeing you guys, but I'm, I'm imagining that you might have something. That oh you yeah. Other than this, no, no, you hurt me. But all right, that's. Well, I'll move uh, to adjourn. <laughs> I, think, I think you. I think you get. You take the early more. Uh, the early meeting ends as buffer against any future that are just not seemingly and are going to seem be seemingly endless. So there we go. Yeah, we've had a few. Had a few. All right. So this was a big win all around. Well done, team. Um, <laughs> I'm waiting. For, I'm, I'm looking forward to Frank's debut of, of leading the next. <laughs> Next hearing on the garage edition that we have in February. We'd we'll have to put a plaque on it. Yeah. <laughs> right. I think they should in their front yard if we grant it or deny it if you deem it. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this edition has been denied by board. Right. <laughs> yeah. I would have to resign probably at that point. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see when, the, when we get the plans, because who knows? It's all open until then. All right, guys. Have a great week. Great weekend. Stay yeah, hey, warm out there. You and too. It's going to get chilly again. All right. Take care, everyone. Safe right. travel. Thank Bye -bye. you. Thanks, guys. Bye. 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 Good night.